Hi, I'm Levi Sim for PhotoFocus.com, and this morning I'm really excited to be joined by my friend Andrew Funderberg. And Andrew started a company called Fundy Software. Is it Fundy Software? Correct. Andrew, is that the way you, you call it? Okay. Correct. Good. And um, Fundy makes tools that make photographers look better, that make us look more um, put together, I could say. Yeah, make, you, make you look like geniuses. And make us more profitable, for sure. Exactly. If, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, and so right now, I'm glad that you are here to join us. Tell us tell us about, well, and I should also say that Andrew himself is a very fine photographer, um, a terrific storyteller, and a, well, like, you've, you've got no small amount of, of uh, <laughs> accolades yourself. And so. It's, I, it's I do the best I can. Do the best I can. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so where where did you start? Just briefly, where did where did you start in photography and all this so stuff? So I started with travel photography, and then I got into wedding and portrait photography. And my first professional job was I contracted with three Iron Chef restaurants in Japan to be an official wedding photographer at their restaurants. Um, and these are big restaurants. So they, they would do, uh, so they had three restaurants and would do four weddings a weekend. So up to 12 oh, wow. it was, uh, myself and then another local studio held the contracts. And in Japan, you have to have a contract at a location in order to shoot there. So it's a really? closed ecosystem. Yeah. So it was kind of a big deal. I think I was, um, one of the first foreigners in Japan to have, uh, official wedding contracts for shooting. When when was this? Give us a timeline. On this like, was when, when uh, this was two thousand two, two thousand three. Um, oh, yeah, okay. This was uh, the era of the Nikon D two hundred, right? And I had the, a D two hundred uh, Fuji S five that was built on the D two hundred body. Yes. Yeah, man, that so was that, a fun one. Yeah. That was that era. Yeah, D two X time. Right. Yep. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Well, and so, and, and so now you run a. a Industry leading company. Yeah, so we have um, we have uh, well over thirty thousand people on our platform worldwide. Mm -hmm. uh, about half of our our customers are outside the United States. Our biggest um, customer blocks are the U.S., U.K., Canada, Australia, mainland Europe. Um, but we've uh, we have people in over ninety five countries using our software. So, um, which still amazes me. I'm always yeah, amazed that there's 95 countries in the world that they can you can use Visa and Mastercard. <laughs> that is really cool. And so, as I understand it, Andrew, we can use Fundy software to create well-designed products for our customers. Exactly. So we focused on the wedding and portrait market to design uh, professional albums, design professional wall art, uh, mm -hmm. canvas, framed prints, etc. Uh, and then as well as do in-person sales design consultations with your clients to walk through, uh, create full invoices. And then on the back end, um, we've incorporated things like Perfectly Clear, which I know you know and love directly into the product. So you can do all of your final retouching before sending that book, canvas, print, off for print and then uh, we have a couple new fun things going uh, that we're going to go live with next week that i can show you here in a little bit that's so cool well so how did you go from photographing japanese weddings to creating software to help other photographers make great albums so uh they they really go hand in hand i had one november where i had uh i was running i also owned an english school in japan so i was working full-time running that school as well as shooting right. weddings on the side. And then I had one November where I, I had like nine weddings in three weeks or something like that. It was crazy because you can, I had one weekend where I had three weddings because you can double up because the weddings right. are shorter. So you had Saturday daytime, Saturday nighttime, and then Sunday daytime. Um, wow. And uh, all of the software for designing albums uh, available then and um, pretty much what's available now are all based on templates. Um, in and, Photoshop, right? Um, no, even desktop. You know, they, there are oh, some okay. desktop programs, um, and even yeah. uh, even all the desktop programs out there that are available that make much better use of templates than they used to are based on templates. So 
a vertical box will always be a vertical box until you die. Right? right, and so if you want to right. swap photos out, or if you want to change a vertical box to horizontal, you have to do a bunch of manual reconfigurations. So um, I was always quite strong in math, so I decided to use math and algorithms to create dynamic layouts. So while our layout may look like a template, you can swap a vertical and a horizontal, and the design will auto adjust. Or if you have five photos on the page and you decide you want to add one more, you don't have to go look for a different design. You just drop it in there, and it will just expand that design to accommodate a photo, or you can remove a photo and it will do the same. So well, uh, how I like to phrase it is that templates require you to design around pre-made designs, and our program will design around your photos. That's awesome. That so, is really great. Yeah, and it, you know. Well, I'm excited for you to, to show it to us, and for those of you joining us uh, live right now, you can ask us questions like Alan Gale, our good friend Alan, just joined. Hey, Alan, how you doing? Said, good evening. Excited to find out more about Fundy Software. And if you leave a comment like Alan did in the chat, so if you're, if you're watching on photofocus.com, you need to click on the YouTube button and head over to youtube.com to watch this because there's a chat window there that says hello or um, nothing or anything. Just leave, leave a, a comment in that chat. And that'll enter you in a drawing for a complete version of Perfectly Clear Complete Version 3, which, which is a um, powerful tool. When you load the plugin into Photoshop, um, works great with Fundy Software because you can bounce back and forth between Photoshop so you can do your basic editing. But then so, if you have something, an extra difficult client or extra difficult situation, you can take care of that with more advanced uh, perfectly clear features or Photoshop features. Just think about perfectly clear loaded into Fundy is is kind of perfectly clear light. It's for the quick and dirty. Yeah. Um, it takes care of 90% of everything you need to do, but there's always that extra 10%. That's so cool. Okay. You better just show us what, okay. what you can do. Yeah, so let me, uh, I'll do a quick walkthrough and then I'll show you yeah. Um, some crazy things like designing a hundred and a uh, hundred page album in about five minutes. Whoa. Okay. Um, along with wall art. Uh, so, all right, everybody can see my screen. Yes. Looks great. All right. And to show you some of the things like uh, related to our patent, um, for example, I can take this photo and I can just drop it right there and we can just add that to that design. That or, is cool we can okay. take these four photos and I can just drop them in there. And then, so we're just dropping in photos and it's reacting and creating a design. And I can remove and that photo. Like, I hope you guys have struggled through trying to use the template to make albums. Like it, it kind of turned me off of weddings and albums things because I couldn't, I don't have the skills to, um, to do all this stuff myself like like to alter a template and things i i, I haven't learned that I, i'm i've got some learn how to be good pity a good designer is not even on my radar <laughs> and so for me it really turned me off from from producing great weddings because i didn't have the skills to do this and uh and i i don't necessarily have the skills to manage somebody else doing it for me either. <laughs> so uh, I will, um, cool. let's, I'll, I'll show you so cool. how to do this um, a little bit deeper. Um, you can drag photos in here and just, you know, create designs, go through, choose from, you know, uh, dozens and dozens of, of designs that are preloaded. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do this. I have 988 photos loaded in here. Okay. And uh, for all of the, you that love Lightroom or any program that will, like Photo Mechanic, that you can do tags, right? Yeah. You can tag album selects as a keyword, and we'll read all those keywords. So I'm just going to filter down to those album selects. And awesome. then I'm going to go to my auto design, and I'm going to use just the filtered photos here, and we're going to do 100 pages. And uh, we check all the timestamps because if you're in the bride's room and the bride's getting ready, all those photos were taken really close together. So we are like, oh, right. we should put those on the same page. So with one click, I just designed an album and now all I have to do is refine it. 
and it's populated that quickly. Like we're looking yeah, at a preview. Like, yes, yeah, yeah. This is it's done. We could go to print yeah. right now. So um, that's, awesome. that's the album design, and then just in the same exact way, you can design wall art. So these are a bunch of preloaded um, rooms included in Fundy software. So we have all of these rooms included here. Okay. Um, but also, so if I did baby photos, I could I could show a nursery, or I could exactly. Show or uh, as this bottom left, you could have your client send them a picture of their room, and you'll notice uh -huh. that when I loaded this, it went way off because I when you bring in the room, it asks you how big something is in the room. This wall is five feet. Okay. So now, if I go to my view menu and I show my sizes. I'm like, oh, well, this is all too big. So let's take this over here and let's take these guys and I'm going to oh. see how it just auto figured stuff out for yeah. me. That is so cool. Right. Um, and it's probably still a little big. So I'm just going to scrunch it down here a little and plop this down there. Our smart guides show up. So I was able to design a room to scale for my clients that'll look great on their wall. Super easy. And that, that's just like an iPhone photograph of their wall. That it, is, it, it is exactly an iPhone photo of their wall. Right? That and is if so we good. want to, Very um, we could do frames with or without and mats. Wow. And all these products are, are listed with my favorite vendors? or Exactly. Like so we have um, a bunch of vendors preloaded in here um, but then also you can print with any any company in the world because prints and canvases are all the same for album companies mm -hmm. we have 140 different album companies preloaded because all of their bleed lines and everything are kind of different but a canvas it, frame print everything's basically the same for the wall um, so right. we have a bunch preloaded in there but you can use basically anything uh, to customize nice um, and then nice. uh, we have a couple Marketing tools, which we'll skip over. This is uh, more for um, putting your logo on in kind of a fancy way, fancy watermarking tools. Uh, and then um, for presenting to your clients, I'm actually going to bring this over. For presenting to your clients for wedding albums, um, we have our online design proofer. So you can send out a link to your clients. They can view this, can be set to music. Excellent. And then if they want to make changes, um, you can send them this and uh, they have to agree to any agreement that you want. And then you can go through and you can see we have the center lines, bleeds and cut lines, and then they can add uh, any comments they want to add to make any changes. Right on. Additional, so additionally, if... Feedback from them. Exactly. Or... Yeah. Um, most people recommend if you if you want to present wall art and albums and really make it a core part of your business, you really want to do that in person. Right. right. So um, right. we have like I, I, I make I make a lot more money when I sit down with my clients and show them the pictures and how they can use them on their walls. Because you know, people are like, Yeah, give me an eight by ten. But an eight by ten is really inadequate for most walls. <laughs> exactly. So uh, one of the things that we can do is uh, we have built-in slideshow. So uh, start off a slideshow. We can start. It includes a bunch of uh, free music, fully licensed music. Okay. And we can start off with these uh, favorites to get them excited. And then in one slideshow, we can segue directly into through here. I'm just speeding through. Oh, there we go. We can segue into directly into the album design, and then we can play the album design directly off. And so once that client is really involved in that album, yeah, sorry, this is a really long album. <laughs> a moment. Dun, 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 dun. Well, eventually we will get to 
the uh, Go ahead and just exit out. Eventually, it will go into the wall art also. Right on. And so you can you can demonstrate this. Like, are we in Skype? What are we doing to to share this with the client? Here we go into the wall art. Live. Um, you can do it however you want. So if, uh, live in person in your studio in your client's home, uh, we could do it just like we're doing now over Skype or Google Plus. Excellent. So, and then from there, uh, we can go through and walk through uh, the wall art or the album design for the client. And from there, go ahead and create an order and an invoice for that client. Excellent. Excellent. So they've, let's say they decided to order the album Maybe they want to go ahead and order one of these wall galleries. Maybe they want to order a print for Just grandma. Print. Awesome. Yep. And I can I can set the price right there. Yeah. So you can in the back end you can set all of your pricings for your wall art, uh, prints, etc. Mm -hmm. Can I and, alter the price? Yep. So this is all live right here. Um, just a second, I'm going to drop in, show you how you can change out your logo. Oh. And then all of the cool. prices are editable here. You can add your tax discounts, uh, change out your legalese, and then you have a PDF for signing. Right on. Right on. Yeah. Uh, that's really cohesive and it makes me look professional and sleek. I like the idea of that. And, and Hank then, says, this is outstanding software and appears to be user friendly. Uh, it's, we do our best to make it user friendly. We do our very best. Well, and this is version seven? Uh, this is correct. This is version seven. Um, and then one of our new features that we'll be launching um, next week that you can see right here is under the slideshow this little export icon. So awesome. both for uh, client deliverables, a lot of people will actually sell this as an add-on um, right. for an extra couple hundred bucks or to use in marketing. This is an exported version of that same slideshow with the full album design. And we've and, got licensed to use And the, the wall art design, exactly. Wow, right on. How so, many songs do you have in there? So currently we have um, over $1,000 worth of music from Triple Scoop Music and um, some that we've, we've contracted locally to create some custom music for. Right on. But we can yes. also add our own music if we have license. Like if Correct. You can also add your own music. Um, so this song playing song right here, here uh, this is one of the brand new songs that we added that's, uh, that we had composed for us directly. Okay, uh, I'm afraid we can't actually hear it. Oh, is it not coming through? Which is too bad, yeah. Oh, yeah, probably not, but we can... Um, I think we have to alter the settings to do that. Yeah, we can, I can send a, can I send a link out to people? Yeah, that'd be great. In fact, if you click on the top left, if, if you go back to the Hangout window, yep. you'll see a chat button, and if you mm -hmm. drop it in there, I will drop it in the chat right now, and people can check it oh, out. Awesome. And then I can also add it to our the post on Photo Focus. Yeah. So if everybody wants to check that out, that's the Vimeo link, so you can just pop in and perfect. Check and then that out. Um, Alan's asking, does this work on Mac and Windows? Correct. Yeah. Excellent. Now, is it a web-based tool or is this a? It is not. It's a desktop app. tool, so it's going to live alongside of your Adobe Lightroom. Excellent. So it's so it's our goal. So usually, um, most professionals, uh, you know, step one is most likely photo mechanic for culling because mm -hmm. it's so fast, um, or go straight into Lightroom, and then from Lightroom out to full resolution JPEGs, and then our goal is that once you're in Fundy, um, that you don't have to go back into Lightroom. Um, you can stay in Fundy. Maybe you might want to pop out into uh, Photoshop if you need be, but from there, you know, we have. 
all of our perfectly clear built right in one click. That just always amazes me every time I do it. I mean, look at that. That's crazy. How do they do that? Oh, yeah. So, and then one of the new features that oh, you'll see yeah. here is that as we go through and we click on the perfectly clear, um, we have this sync function. So you can load in all of your settings and then click sync and sync retouch all of those. So all of these little time savings that allow people to that's work so a lot great. faster. Yeah. Because that's, I mean, that's part of the part of the problem we have. And well, and you had when you're shooting three weddings in a weekend. Exactly. Done. So, and then from there, uh, we can go off. We can order. We have. Um, you can export your print ready files and order direct from your lab, or we have a number of labs that you can actually um, just click the order button and send directly to the lab. And then our newest, um, which we'll be formally, announce, formally announcing in a couple of weeks, our newest direct lab will be Graphy Studio, which ships to over 154 oh, wow. countries. So yeah, you'll be able to order direct anywhere in the world. That's so great. That is so great. Now, do you have the, you've got the catalog for all of those labs built into, like I can, I can order the covers and the paper types and everything. Exactly. So the uh, for the ones that are direct, we have so all of that included. And then any, any ones that are non-direct, um, you just export and you can order directly through your lab as far as paper types and covers mm -hmm. and all of that. Very cool. That is very, very cool. Um, three, Andrew, what? Uh... All right, so let's go ahead and like yeah, so do you have any fast. questions? You've I know it's so fast. So it's literally so fast <laughs> that you can prep an entire uh, client experience in, in 10, 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and I'll sh to kind of take you through right. the whole process here. So uh, let's go ahead and clear that. All right. So from a kind of page by page design technique, you literally just grab the photos that you want and drop them in there. If you don't like the design, you can open up our quick design picker and you can just kind of go through different options. And if you kind of like a certain concept. So those concept, are all the same photos with different layouts. Got it. Yeah. Okay. And if you kind of like the concept, you can go through and see different variations yeah. on that theme. So for example, oh, I like just write in. Oh, man. And then we'll just, you know, maybe change, yeah. move some photos around. And then I can drop this one in. And then the same thing choose the design I like. Or what I like to do is that the one of the diff most difficult things when designing an album is getting that rough draft done. So yeah, absolutely. one of the things that you can do is you can go into um, the image browser and I'm going to sort by story so you can kind of see some things. So for example, this photo, you'll notice that I've tagged it as cover photo. Yeah. And these photos with these links, you'll notice that I have grouped them together that you can use okay. with you can do with these buttons. This photo I've tagged as a panorama as well as this mm -hmm. photo because I want it to oh, so when be it, that when they display page, they're right. going to stick together and they're going to be a panorama. Correct. Yeah. So um, you can go through and tag a few of these that you want to make sure do exactly what you want. And then all we need to do is go under the auto design and create those settings. Right? I'm going to alter the pages. And it gives you a little feedback. So average of 3.5 photos per spread, which is what I like to keep under two photos a page, personally. Okay. And then I hit design, and there's my rough draft. And now all I need to do is go through and, and alter it. So for example, this page, this image right here, I don't think that deserves to be a rough draft or a, a double page spread. So I'm going to drop that down onto this page and then just remove that page. I'm going to adjust the crop okay. in here. Cool. Right? I want to see this whole photo. So I'm going to go ahead and just adjust that page. Maybe do something with a little uh, negative space there. 
And so I'm just going to go through. Uh, we can move pages around. You know, I can say actually this one because we deleted a page. I still want to have a hundred page, so I'm going to grab this photo and plop it right between those two pages to add another page. Oh wow, <laughs> that is so easy. And Holy then I cow. believe I believe we're the only design program that lets you uh, swap photos between pages. So for example, I can take this photo here and swap between these two pages. And automatically swapped it. That is, right. that is really So cool. literally while teaching you how to use the program, we're able to design a 100-page album in no time at all. And then for people that are really um, Nitpicky is a bad word because it has a negative, negative connotation, but people that are really detail-oriented, you'll find a lot of the same features that you'll find within Photoshop. For example, this orange box is what we call our patented drop zones, and I want to align the photos within the drop zone to the right. right. So we have more of that kind of dynamic for the design. So you can really customize as okay. much as you want. Yeah. This down. Da, da, da. But um, I mean, literally, I think but this I don't album have is really to. <laughs> I mean, it's pre It looks that pretty makes damn it good. Fast. <laughs> right. So we're able to design a hundred-page album, and so this does a couple things for your business. Is one, it cuts down on production time, right? Because it's ten or fifteen minutes to design an album instead of an hour or two hours. And number two, because it's so easy to design more and more of the photographers that use our software are making more money because they're just, they just design more and so they present more to their clients and their clients buy more. But great story, a couple of weeks ago, yeah. somebody posted to our private Facebook group that she designed just a mammoth album. She was like, it was an awesome wedding, I just went overboard. And so she sat down with the client, she did the slideshow, and then sat down with the client and was like, okay, there's like, I don't know, 150 pages. Like it was crazy how many pages there were. And um, so we need to cut this down because the album company I use has a maximum of, I don't know, 60 pages or 50 pages, whatever that number was. And so they start cutting okay. out photos and pages. And then finally the client says, well, why can't I just get it like you designed it? And the photographer says, well, you can, but you'd have to order three albums to get that. And it's going to be this much money. And the client just... She kind of took a deep breath and she's like, okay, let's do it. And she, so she ordered a That's three great. volume wedding album. Oh man. That's marvelous. That's marvelous. Yeah. Well, and albums are such a great tool because especially for a wedding, because we've made all these wonderful photographs, but walls only have so much room. Yeah. And there's only, you, you get married, but that that's the once in your lifetime thing. You've got mm -hmm. a lot of lifetime left to stick yep. on the walls. Yeah, yeah. Bookshelf for your three albums, and so I. Yeah, how I'm, awesome is that? I'm three jealous. albums. Yeah. Um, and so the wall art uh, very works, very similar. So let me open this up. Um, you simply you know grab some photos that you want to be have on the wall, and then just yep. drag them to the empty space, and it's going to design a wall for you. Uh, we can swap out the preview wall with either that client's room or these are all stock rooms that are included for free. There's a button with just to add design. a client room. I mean, this yes, is so easy. It. And then from there, we can, you know, we can do any manual designs you want. We can go into our layouts. And we have our standard layouts. Um, oh, let me see. I, let, me, let me change. to metal prints because there's more sizes available. So we go to our standard layouts and it just gives us a bunch of options, right? Yeah. That'll fit into that basic area. Now look at that. I love or uh, we, you can also create your own collections. So I've created my own collections here. Uh, probably want to add one more photo. And when you create your own collections, you can also add your retail pricing. So yeah. let's go ahead and click that button and then let's go ahead and pop in another photo, one that has a lot of blue in it. So here's my collection and when a client decides they wanna order that, I just click the add button and it's gonna pull up that collection with the retail price 
and I'm just going to add that to the client order. So That's every so time great. I do that, it's populating that client order in the pricing and everything all together. You just, you just print the invoice and send them or they email it, whatever. Yeah. Yep. That's great. Okay, so Marsh has got a question. Is it, sure. um, this is wonderful sounding software. Is there a free trial? There is a free trial. So the great thing about the free trial is that there's no, uh, there's no limit. You can play with it all you want. You can design as many albums as you want, uh, wall art, slideshows, et cetera. Um, you just can't export anything for print. So you can gotcha. try all okay. of the features out. And then uh, once you feel comfortable that it's the best solution for you, um, you can go ahead and pay. Uh, and then once you order, you just relaunch the software. There's no need to put in a registration code or anything, and then you're ready to go. And it does it doesn't reset anything that I've already built. No. So I could I could use this on a client job. I could meet with my client, have them do their proofing, and when they when they say okay, let's do it, when they when they give me money for their album. It, Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So I, you I can exactly. To, I don't have to put any money up front. Exactly. You can just have your clients pay for your utilize the tool. Pay for your tool for you. Exactly. That's terrific, and it's good. I mean, that's great service for, for them for sure. Um, well, and so so we've done a really quick run through of things here. What resources do you have for me to learn? So specifically, how exactly. To use it? So under the help menu, uh, we have our tutorials, which access our video tutorials, uh, manuals for that things that are searchable, keyboard shortcuts. So I didn't show you any of the cool sh keyboard shortcuts. No, oh, I so, love keyboard shortcuts. Yeah, keyboard shortcuts are the best, right? So um, one of the keyboard shortcuts we have uh, is based on our design algorithms. So you'll notice when you go into our quick design picker, there's, there's 12 base design principles, right? And if you look at the top of your keyboard from one to the equal sign, there's four keys, or there's 12 keys, right? So I can go one, two, three, four, five, okay. six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> that's so cool. Right? So and I, I can hit different three on the same photo. and then oh, I that's great. my right arrow, go to that one, then I was like, oh, I want this one to be five. And then this one, six or seven. Right, that's so the number of pictures it'll have? No, that is the design it's going to apply, design right? Design. So for right. example, this one, if I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's you. number okay. seven. So yep. I'm going to hit my seven key and it's going to apply that design. Nice. Yeah. And as I become more familiar, I will. Um, exactly. I'll have a. And then for when you hit your course. space bar, it will flip that design for you. Oh. Oh, man. Lots of fun. So you can do a lot with your keyboard shortcuts. Uh, and then as well as all of your tags for panorama. So for example, these guys, I can select these guys and I can hit the G key to group those together. Right on. Right. G key to group those together. Right, so it does all that grouping for you. And then auto updates. And then exactly auto updates. Uh, so next week, everybody that has Funny Designer will get an auto update pop up. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, I mean, as you like, like as you make groups down there, the oh, everything the layout is everything auto updates. Um, and then also uh, another th great thing that um, is that you can have this in a separate uh, monitor, right? So I can oh, have yeah. this in my uh, my second monitor, and so you can design dual screen, right? So we can grab. Uh, let's say these three photos and drop them into this window and create a new spread. Right, so oh, that's, that's great so cool. for people working on a big desktop with multiple monitors. That gives you a much bigger view and and uh, what you're able to do. That is really and cool. for people that make mistakes. Uh, unlimited undo stack within a view. Did that again. Okay, so I'm going to remove that photo. I'm going to remove that photo. I'm going to remove that photo. And then the client's, oh, no, I've changed my mind. So undo. Oh, good. Undo. Okay. 
Awesome. Undo. <laughs> Go backwards in time. Excellent. Excellent. And can I um, can I have a two monitor view so that my client sees the live view, but not the. Exactly. I don't want them to see that button that says auto design down there. You know what I mean? Exactly. Nobody wants that, right? So uh, when we go into this client view window, we have this view here. And so that shows just the spreads in the slideshow while you're okay. looking at this. So you can do right things on. like remove that photo, and they're going to see this auto update. So they'll be like, oh, can we take that photo out? Yeah, give me just a sec. It's really hard. Right. <laughs> that was tough. Whew, that was hard work. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> exactly. So we can step through that. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So Andrew, just like, yeah. like it feels liberating watching you do this. You know, like it's it it's feels a lot like of I'm fun. gonna be able to do Now, does um, besides albums and 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 wall layouts, mm -hmm. else for us in here like uh, so like uh, within here this, the same project. Um, so one of the things that's really interesting with albums is we can duplicate an album, mm -hmm. and maybe this is the parent album, right? Yeah. So, but with the parent album, maybe uh, with toggle that on. Uh, maybe they want a smaller album of a different size. So I just changed this album from a horizontal album to a square album without having to redesign. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, and then we, in addition to that, we have uh, what we call our blog collage program. Oh. And that allows you to create uh, mini web collages. Let me actually drop another one in there. Mini web collages. And then it also allows you to That's apply really cool. a style to it. And you can save those styles out. Um, you can have multiple logos in there. Right on. You say blog collage. I'm thinking Instagram collage. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So, uh, and then you can save out your own styles. And once that style style has been saved, you can apply it to other collages, or you can use that same style. Um, let's see. Let me grab a bunch of these guys, and then just like Album Builder, we have a bunch of different uh, layouts, etc. And then Image Brander. It's kind of the same thing, uh, but for individual photos. So kind of a sophisticated watermarking tool. So I'm going to go to my design styles here. Um, this is the one that I just saved. So I'm going to apply that. Uh, let me actually make the logo just a little bit bigger and centered. And then I'm going to apply that to all the photos. All right. So just like the watermarking okay. tool in uh, Lightroom, but just a lot more sophisticated. Yeah. Uh, for example, I can um, increase the background border easily, move the logo around. Um, you can add uh, copyright info text, um, file numbers. Like maybe you want to put your file number so it adds the file number to every single photo. So everyone can reference things yep. accurately. Exactly. So you'll notice that each photo has a different file name now. Yeah, that's cool. And so maybe I send that in a Smug Mug album for proofing or. Correct. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. Very, so, very cool. Yeah. And then um, the online proofing, the skin retouching, and then the uh, slideshows and slideshow export. All oh, right. You've got online proofing built in here. I don't have to use, I don't have to send it over to my Smug Mug. Additionally, what was that? I'm sorry, you, your sound didn't come through for me. Oh, sorry. You've got you've got the 
online proofing built in. So I don't exactly. have to use smug mugs. Well, so that. the online proofing, remember, is just for the design, not for individual individual photos. But one of the okay. things, one you. of the things you can do is if uh, let me bring if we look at this revision, you'll see when people are reviewing their album, this link that says see all photos, you can link that out to anything in the world. So you can link that out to a smug mug oh, gallery. Nice. Okay. Right? So that they can work in very conjunction. Cool. Yeah. So this is this one yeah. is a smug mug, but very similar. Yeah. Yeah. Super, yeah. Sure. Uh, it's like it's like you listen to what people said and then made it better accordingly. We tried. We tried to do that. We like to listen to our users. Um, there's, you know, we get a lot of user feedback as far as what requests go in. We we try. Some people get upset because we don't get everything in, but I like to think we get at least half <laughs> in. Right on. Yeah. Right on. Cool. Yeah. So that's that's cool. Uh, okay. That's, well, so Hank's got the burning question. Yeah. What's the cost? So we have um, actually. I think you guys are lucky. I think we have a sale going on right now. Um, we have a few different versions, so let me pull this up for you. Share here. Um, and if you're watching a replay of this and the sale is not live, I'm sorry. I can't help you. Um, this is what's currently live right now. Um, if you look at the suite options, we have three suite options. We have a light, pro, and albums only. Yeah. The light has all of the features. It just restricts you to albums that are 10 by 10 inches or smaller and up to 30 pages for a product. And then for wall art, a maximum of 24 by 36 inches. If you choose to get this and then choose to upgrade to the pro or the album, it's just the price difference. So you don't really get penalized if you choose that. The pro includes everything, uh, currently 349, and then the albums only, which is everything except for the wall art, um, is 249, currently $50 off. Right on. What's the pro enhancements? So the pro enhancements would be that online design proofing. So we host as many gotcha. albums as you want online. It includes the one-click skin retouching. Uh, basically, we license that on your behalf. And then the slideshow export, um, which is coming out. So those three things are included in the pro enhancements, and that's $179 a year. Um, in addition, uh, for example, we've already planned out our winter, and there's going to be a ton of features that will only be available to those pro enhancements people. Right on. Right so that's on. Kind of, kind of the, the, uh, the special, uh, the super special elite group that, that are really using Funny Designer to make a lot of money. Yeah. And well, and if, I feel like if I just start using Funny Designer, I will be making a lot more money. Yes, so to inspire you, um, I've been working with a, a local photographer. Actually, you probably know Beth Olson. I think I do, yeah. To sit down and- Yeah, we're, really, we're both in Portland. To, to just sit right down now, so. and show um, designs in person and give people the option to upgrade. And it's been really difficult for her because she's at her core, she's an artist and getting over that, that right. hump. But she finally did it. Um, the clients started crying when they saw the slideshow. She started crying, uh, went through the whole process and it was a fifteen hundred dollar upgrade. Yeah, you you know what you know what Michelle Salentano says. What? If they're crying, they're buying. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and then um, and then on the total opposite end, uh, so far by sh doing an album consultation via Skype, the current uh, winner is an eleven thousand dollar album upgrade. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then everything in between. But believe... currently, currently, uh, album upgrades, the averages seem to be between 2000 and 3500 for people that are doing uh, a basic process. And then for wall art, um, that $2,500 to $4,000 range in wall mm -hmm. art sales. That's great. So, yeah. yeah. So the, the software pays for itself in one sitting, literally. <laughs> right. Well, and, and you've shown us a lot of weddings, and it makes sense for, for wedding photographers who have. Uh, such a busy, busy schedule and lots of lots of pictures to make and and like albums are a standard mm -hmm. product for a wedding. But if I can sell a, a twenty page album for a family sitting, that's a exactly. that's a huge value for my client for the same reasons. They don't want 
they, they want all the pictures, but they don't have room for all the pictures. Exactly. Or storage room for all the pictures because they're going to come back in two years and do it again. So, Man. yeah. And, you know, uh, portraits are the same. You just lead with the wall art and the albums, the add on. Right. Right. Cool, Andrew. Um, yeah. And any one more, more time, I want to tell everybody that we're doing a, a giveaway. No, no more questions, but I was just about to solicit some more. So if anybody has a question or would like to leave a comment, if you do so, it enters you in a copy of Perfectly Clear Complete. Um, and uh, otherwise, I don't know if you have any other super cool tools to show us in there. Yeah, I think we I think we went through everything. So the goal is to be able to you know give you guys ultimate flexibility in your design, but then be able to speed up that process, and then be able to present it yeah. beautifully to your clients, whether that be online, in person, or over a Skype or Google Plus, uh, and be able to create that that high end consultation with your clients to increase revenue for your photography business. Excellent. I think. I personally have a hard time not doing everything myself from, from yeah. bookkeeping to album design. Yeah. There's, there's so many things for me to do and I don't have the skills to do them all, unfortunately, which is, which is like a hard thing to admit, you know, <laughs> uh, but, but the tools like this bookkeepers? really make a better person. We as photographers are good bookkeepers. That's a yeah, that's a shocker. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I read this thing one time. I was reading this business book. This was ages ago before I was a photographer. And it said the number one reason businesses fold is because they don't send out invoices. I was like, who would do that? Why would you ever not send out an invoice? Why would you never? Would and then lo and behold. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, and you just you get busy, and it's the least fun thing to do. <laughs> yep. But this has the invoices built in; it's already built right there, like it's yep. it's already finished and ready to go. So that's that's really cool. Um, Hank's got one question: w Would you show the pro enhancement feature and cost again? So the pro enhancement features. Um, there's three basic features, and and more coming. Um, so the pro enhancement features the the first one is the uh, in-application skin retouching. So yep. this is perfectly clear included. And so this allows us to do things like one-click skin retouching for that person there. Um, there was a great photo. And, and, it may not, and it may not be showing up very well in the YouTube resolution, yeah, correct. but it is a truly powerful tool that I use. That one probably was a little bit better. I highly recommend it. Um, so that that one click skin retouching for all your needs. Here's another one that that'll probably be really good, right? And so it retouches the skin, eyes, teeth, under eyes, uh, shine, and then the next one uh, is the unlimited uh, design proofs. So you'll be able to create unlimited proofs for your clients to send out to get comments back um, that you can send with music, a beautiful flip book, a logo, et cetera. And then the last one is the slideshow export, um, which allows you to export um, full HD slideshows with the included uh, music from Triple Scoop Music, et cetera. Let me open that up again. So here is a sample on that. And we included that sample link too, but you can see beautiful. Yes. One of the things that I actually I didn't show you, which you'll be impressed because I know what did you watch yesterday that we were talking about? Oh, the uh, the Apple Keynote. Yes. The Apple Keynote, right? So this is really interesting. So obviously you can do 480, 720, 1080p, 4K, but you could do a custom size. So you could do a slideshow mm -hmm. set exactly the size of the person's phone. Right. And like send the it new, to them to the store new on their Super phone. Retina is like twenty four thirty six by yeah. eleven twenty five. Exactly. So you can set it to any pixel resolution you want, and that gives you that this that little extra touch. Be like, hey, here's a slideshow. Wow. Plus, I made a version that exactly fits your phone for you. That's really cool. That is really cool. So it includes those three things: 
in addition to some secret top secret stuff coming in in uh, January. Uh, but when Excellent. you purchase, when you purchase, you get three free months of the pro enhancements, which should get you through the fall, right? Yeah, the busy which, season. So, which is the busy uh, so yeah. you get three free months to try that. Uh, if you like it, you can continue. If you don't, uh, then you can choose to cancel. That is so great. Um, yeah, I, I can't thank you enough for, for joining us today, Andrew. Thanks, man. It's, it's really fun to see. I mean, I've seen this before, I, but every time I see it, it's always it fun to see it. Off. Yeah, it's, it's always fun to see it. Um, and it's fun, too, that it, like, you know, you're, a, you're one of us. I try to be. I haven't. I, yeah. I, I only shoot, I shoot one wedding or a portrait a year now. <laughs> I'd love to shoot. I'd love to shoot more, but man, it's hard to find the time. Well, and you've got your family that you still photograph and everything too. Yeah, I do. I focus on street yeah. photography now. So um, that's and great. Hot summer days are leaving, so it's time to hit the streets again. Right. Where um, Where can we catch up with you? Where can we see? Your work. So for uh, for Fundy Designer, uh, obviously you can hit Fundy Software on Facebook or Fundy Software Inc. on uh, Instagram. For my personal work, you can see me at Andrew Funderberg under Instagram for my personal street stuff. Right on. A lot of dark and moody last year and you taught at WPPI. Um, actually, last uh, year I taught at Image, are you teaching Imaging here? WPPI. Yes. So this. Uh, this year, I'm teaching at a few state PPAs, WPPI, Imaging, um, SWPP in London, um, oh, right. uh, Photographia something something in Spain, um, right. teaching at the Choo Choo Camp for Looks Like Film next month. Right on. And uh, are you going? Are you guys going to be at PPE workshops. in New York next month? Um, we will actually, if you want to stop, if you're in New York, if you stop by the Miller's Lab booth, um, we'll have a kiosk there uh, demoing the software. Uh, because Miller's right is on. one of the labs that you can order Very direct cool. to. So uh, Miller's, they will print and bind and ship your album out in three days. So you could actually click a button and um, what's today? Today's Wednesday. Uh, on Saturday, most likely you'll have that album on your doorstep because yep. they have overnight shipping. <laughs> Man, that's great. It's crazy. That is really great. Well, thanks a ton for joining us, uh, Andrew. And uh, I've done a magic drawing thing. And Marsha Facey has won the copy of Perfectly Clear Complete. Nice. So, Marsha, if you'll just email me at, perfect, at Levi at photofocus.com, then I will send you a complimentary license for Perfectly Clear. Give me a couple days on that. I'm traveling today. Uh, but I'll, I will get it to you. And um, ah, man, thanks again, right. Andrew. Thanks so much. And is it, which which is the website? Uh, Fundy.com. F-U-N-D-Y.com. Yep. That's it. Excellent. Well, thanks, gang. Get out there and don't just take pictures, but make pictures. All right. We'll catch you I next time. It.